I think quite far advanced in that work. The, you know, I review the, the, the production line plans for that every week. Um, and I think the, the, the revolution in manufacturing that will be represented by that car uh, will blow people's minds. It is not like any car production line that anyone's ever seen. In a recent conversation with Elon Musk, Sandy Monroe, a veteran automotive engineer, revealed Tesla's biggest project in 2024, the mass production of a groundbreaking low-cost electric car model tentatively named Model 2, with an expected price of about $25,000. So what details about this project have been revealed? Where will this car be produced and in what quantity? How does its expected performance compare to its predecessor, Model 3? In today's video from Adam Tech, we invite you to discover exciting details about this upcoming next generation vehicle. Don't forget to show your support by liking, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts in the comments section below. Now, let's dive into this exciting content that awaits you today. Where will the next generation car of Tesla be built? Uh, that, that we will be making, the, the the, the first production line will be here in the Gigafactory in Texas, in, 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 in this facility. Oh, I thought it was going to be in Mexico or something. That'll be the second place. As per Elon Musk, Tesla's upcoming Model 2 will be manufactured at the Gigafactory in Texas, USA, the same facility responsible for assembling the innovative Cybertruck. Despite earlier speculations placing initial production of the Model 2 at the Gigafactory, Mexico, Musk clarified that the Mexican facility will be operational after the car's official launch. Additionally, Tesla is actively pursuing expansion efforts in Berlin, restarting expansion plans at the Shanghai factory, and keeping the prospect of Mexico in consideration as part of his ongoing global strategy. How many next-gen cars will be produced? The expansion of the Berlin factory will naturally involve the production line of the next compact car designed for the European market, anticipating significant success in this region. With half the production footprint and the expansion being twice the size of Phase 1 in the Berlin factory, we can anticipate that Berlin will have the capacity to produce approximately 1.5 to 2 million units of the next generation vehicle in that factory alone. In China, Tesla is set to resume the construction of the third phase of the Giga Shanghai factory as reported by CNC. This new phase is specifically designated for the production of Tesla's upcoming $25,000 vehicle. Presently, the Shanghai plant focuses on manufacturing Model 3 and Model Y, boasting an impressive annual capacity of 1.1 million units. Bloomberg reported in January that Tesla planned to boost the output of the Shanghai plant to 2 million EVs a year. The period from January to November witnessed the delivery of 853,603 vehicles, marking a 30% increase compared to the corresponding period in the previous year. Notably, Shanghai stands out as Tesla's most efficient production facility, with cars rolling off the assembly line in a mere 37 seconds, in contrast to the 76 seconds it takes at Tesla's Texas factory. With the increasing expanding production scale, plus the construction of Giga Mexico approved by Mexico's Federal Ministry of the Environment, it's completely reasonable for Musk to say that Tesla's $25,000 EV could hit volumes of over 5 million annually taken together with a new dedicated robo-taxi model. What are Tesla's $25,000 vehicle possible specs? Affordability is a key consideration for electric car enthusiasts, and in Europe, the Dacia Spring stands out as a budget-friendly option at $22,000. However, this little crappy EV that got one star and safety rating from Europe NCAP and only has 440 miles of range can only charge with 30 kilowatts. It takes 19 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles an hour. Yes, you did not hear that wrong, not 1.9 seconds. 19 seconds. Customers want an affordable EV that's also a good EV. Seeking a balance between cost effectiveness and performance, customers are turning their attention to the next generation of Tesla vehicles. As of now, Tesla has remained relatively tight-lipped about the design and specifications of the Model 2, but some rumors suggest that it may take the form of a compact hatchback, similar to the Model 3 or compact Model Y, but smaller and lighter. On April 5, 2023, 
Tesla did confirm the utilization of a 53 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate LFP battery pack for a to be determined compact vehicle in its master plan part three document, which could be the designated battery for model two, allowing it to travel more than 300 miles per charge. Some speculations, notably from Berlin Tesla's YouTube channel, propose a 35 kilowatt hour battery configuration for the model two with a 250 mile range making it 38% more cost-effective for Tesla to produce than the Model 3 standard range. It's worth noting that such insights remain speculative until officially confirmed by Tesla. Furthermore, Tesla's Master Plan Part 3 also unveiled certain parameters related to Tesla's plans for buses and vans. However, details about these two projects remain unconfirmed and shrouded in mystery at this point. What technology will be used on this next-gen car? Elon hinted that it may use some of the innovations that Tesla has introduced or plans to introduce with the Cybertruck. One is the gigacasting process, involving the use of giant machines to cast substantial sections of the car's body as a single piece. This approach maximizes the number of parts and streamlines the assembly process. The gigacasting machines produced by the Italian company Idra Group stands out as the largest high-pressure die-casting machines in production as of 2020, boasting a clamping force ranging from 55,000 to 61,000 kilonewtons. Each machine weighs between 410 and 430 tons and is capable of producing an 80-kilogram molten aluminum casting in 80 to 90 seconds. Tesla has already utilized gigacasting machines for the production of Model Y, its compact SUV, and has plans to implement them for Cybertruck. Sandy Monroe analyzed the Model 3 casting back in 2021 and revealed that the aluminum alloy employed in the large Tesla chassis parts is primarily a mixture of 89.5% aluminum and 8.5% silicon, along with various trace elements. Another potential innovation for Model 2 is the 48 low voltage architecture, enabling a true steer-by-wire system. This implies that the steering wheel is not mechanically linked to the wheels, but rather controlled through electric signals. Musk, indicating its implementation in the Cybertruck, anticipates that this system could provide flexibility and safety for the driver while reducing the car's weight and complexity. In addition, the fact that the Tesla Cybertruck and their upcoming vehicles use a forward-thinking 48-volt architecture not only reduces the amount of copper needed in wiring, leading to cost saving, but it also contributes to a lighter vehicle, potentially enhancing overall efficiency. Saudi Monroe and Jason Kamisa have shed more light on the benefits of this system. Tesla quadrupled the low voltage side of this car, meaning anything that would have otherwise run on 12 volts now runs on 48 volts. This cuts the current needs in four, meaning this car needs only a quarter as much copper, saving Tesla money that it can then pass on to you. Let's have a look at what a normal harness would look like. Here's one right here. And, tragically, that's the other side. Okay, so what does that really and truly mean if I go to 48 volts? Now, there are some power lines on here. Power lines are usually in orange. But in essence, we're looking at a 73% weight reduction in going to 48 volts and also the 800 volt system. Both those systems combined with the ethernet ring gives, gives Tesla a 78% a reduction in weight. This is all the information that we have gathered regarding Tesla's plan to expand production and develop the next generation cars. Today, the average selling price of a Tesla vehicle is roughly $45,000 while the average price for a BYD is about $27,000. Owning a car with a selling price of only $25,000 will help Tesla meet the growing demand for affordable and sustainable mobility in India and China. Positioned as Tesla's most budget-friendly option, it competes with electric vehicles like the Chevrolet Bolt, Nissan Leaf, and Hyundai Kona Electric. Moreover, federal EV subsidies and Tesla's forthcoming initiative to locally produce lithium in Texas upholds the promise of a substantial reduction in the car's price. What are your thoughts on this development? How does Elon Musk plan to transform his ambition of manufacturing a low-cost car into a tangible reality? 
feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit the bell icon so as not to miss any latest info. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.